Oh, JD here, Tyrell Lewis, and we are back on F1 2021 as always. And we are continuing our hot lap and setups. Took a day off yesterday, but I will still do my best to get one of these out every single day. But we arrive at Austria, a track that is very popular among most of the drivers. And I have to say, this track is a real, <laughs> real, real headache, which you are about to see a few outtakes here for myself i got up to speed very very quickly in the space of about seven to ten laps i got to a 2.4 and um, quite comfortably i was using other people's setups at first uh, and i just found them to be very unstable on the curbs and they're just very very tricky to drive because for me a setup i like to have a lot of stability and i'm using quite high downforce i think i use the highest downforce among the people in the top 10 uh, around this track and I feel if you can use high downforce and get away with it then that's the way you really want to go since the ERS is so powerful uh, same with the DRS as well and I really like to have a car that's good over curbs which I found to be some of these setups to be very quick but you just have to get everything perfect whereas one I tuned I feel just makes it much easier to drive and we're gonna go over our fastest lap now so as always we just go gloss over this first lap and then dissect it uh, afterwards and you can see taking a lot of curb on that turn one which i have to say is probably one of my worst corners it always has been in a formula one game but i really don't like it uh, i don't like it where you have to just take so much of the inside and you just have to just cut it to perfection in order to get a really good time it's something I don't really like to do. I really wish that you didn't have to do that. Um, but for the rest of the lap, the rest of the lap's quite nice. Uh, the curves are a bit of a pain, especially in sector three. And that's why I've really altered my setup to make it very good over the curbs. Um, because on this game, it's quite a characteristic because when you brake, you can just, the back end just snaps around and lose the car. So going through here, normally it's very, very difficult, but you can see it's silky smooth going through there and you could really just attack it like that every single lap and we come across the line and we do a 2.3 so about one just under two temps down um, from Ron Ha and honestly I'm very very uh, happy with that um, considering it's this track for me so we're going to analyze this now and going into turn one we're going to be looking on the left hand side quite simple reference points around this track is just after the 100 meter board that's where you want to be braking turning in and going through this turn one you just really have to take so much curb unfortunately you're just gonna have to cut it as much speed as you possibly can and you know we do that really eight out of ten seven out of ten on that occasion so not too bad go at the uh, top of the hill i really want to be braking again just after the 100 meter board Going down through the gears slowly, use as much curb as you can as you're turning in. You can see going very, very slowly down on the gears as well. Then double shift into third gear, had a little bit snap of the steering, but once it's straight, that's when you'll be going on the full throttle. This one, you can really attack this corner with the camber of it. So again, very similar to the first two braking zones, just after the 100 meter board. Really want to carry a lot of speed through here. Avoid the curb on the exit, and then stay nice and tight to the right hand side. This one is just after the 50 meter board. We're gonna little dab on the brake and just carry as much speed as he possibly can. Use all of the track on the exit. As a slip road starts, that's your turning point. Again, you really wanna attack this corner early and then use all the curb on the exit, stay tight to it. And this one, you really need a good stable setup for this. Uh, just for the 50 meter board try and just kiss this curb on the inside use all the curb on the exit as you're straight for a millisecond that's when you want to be turning in again kiss this curb use all the curb on the exit drs coming across the line it's a two minute point three and honestly yeah I, i'm happy with that it's austria and normally tt is not my particular strength and to be this close to someone like ron ha who is very good at time trial over a lap it's actually very, very promising for me. I think on the last game, I was a good four tenths to half a second down around tracks like this. So to be this close makes it feel good for me. And you can see seven, nine wings, uh, a bit higher on the downforce. 
I feel online that's going to work very well. And for me, that really has been the case so far. 8260 off diff, just to avoid the over rotating when you go off the throttle, all the way to the right for the front camper. Rear camper, I've always said, is very important. And 0.08 just for that high speed. One free suspension to make it very soft. I get my rotation through the roll bars, 210, they're very, very spaced apart. And 2726, honestly, I feel really is to go to 156. And with the tire pressures, very balanced on the front, a combination of high speed grip and rotation, and just for the maximum responsiveness and stability for the rear, don't want too much rear mechanical grip. So overall, I'm actually very, very happy. That's very promising for me. As I said on previous games at certain tracks, I was normally not that very close, but in the race I was very strong. So to be this close with that kind of setup, I think that's a really, really good thing. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know how the setups have gone for you so far as well. I will be trying to continue this on a daily basis. Thank you for support on the channel and I will catch you very, very soon. Peace.